Hey, welcome. In this video, I'll present you top six text-to-speech Python package with code and sample audio so you can easily choose which one is best for your upcoming projects. So let's get started. The first is um, Google text-to-speech. It's actually developed by Google. You can use a text -to Google text-to-speech engine. And this is how it's integrated. I wrote a blog post explaining how to install the package, how to use the package and every other configuration that you may need. But it's kind of really easy. This is how you, um, after installation, this is how you use a package and it gives something like this. Hello, this is a normal text and I am a Python package. No. Uh, pretty, pretty hard. It's like, it's, it's really look like a machine. Okay. And the next module I wanted to introduce is uh, Cookie TTS. I did a long video about it, a long serial video about it on my channel. We can check it out. I'll put the link in the description. And I think uh, this is one of the best. Um, the voice is really great and the API is simple, documented and uh, clear and easy to use. So you can either watch the full video, the full server video uh, where I integrate it with Flask and Docker. Um, I will just show you exactly a sample, how is it, it is integrated. It's something like this. It looks like something like this. So you can um, specify the location um, based on the yeah, but based on the way you install the package, the location of this uh, parameter model JSON, and um, use this synthesizer to read the text that you provide here. So, and the sample is something like this. Hello from our machine. Yeah, it seems far more better than the, um, Google Text to Speech. So, um, this is the second one. The third one is the TensorFlow text-to-speech package. Um, unfortunately, um, it is not well documented and it's hard to find a stable documentation for the project. But at least I found some sample online so you can see how um, it sounds. It is something like this. Scientists at the CERN laboratory say they have discovered a new particle. Yeah, it looks like cocky, but I think it is a bit less interesting. Say they have discovered a new particle. Yeah. Scientists at the CERN laboratory say they have discovered a new particle. Yeah, it kind of looks like cocky. Um, the voice are really similar, but I still think uh, cocky PPS is a bit more better and well documented than TensorFlow text to speech. So that's my opinion. Um, the next I wanted to present is a uh, PyDex speech. I mean, this is uh, kind of really basic. It's the most known package for text to speech in Python. It's really easy to use. And the code is something like this, like this. It's kind of four line. And when you run it, it's get something from the field. Learn from the field. It used the engine of your operating system to read the text. So it's kind of really straightforward and really easy to use depending on your use case but this is how it sounds really much on the machine the long from the machine yeah okay and the last one is larynx uh, larynx i will put a complete video of the creator of the package in the description so you can have a look about it i didn't find any sample and the documentation is not really clear um but it seems interesting so i wanted to add it to the list also so um, I'll put the link in the description for, um, if you want to go deep into the Laravel package. And also I'll put the link of this post in the description so you can see how to install the package, how to use it and explain a bit more about everything with the sample I was just talking okay, about. This here. is a normal text. And, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Ciao.